Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. Today I've got a good one for you. I want to provide you with a tip that the smallmouth guys are crushing them on that is now starting to be related over to largemouth fishing and southern fishing impoundments. Guys, this is something that honestly you don't hear talked about that much. I have mentioned this on the channel before, but I've never done a full video on it. But I really think it's time to take it from just being a smallmouth technique to a full around bass fishing technique, something that a lot of big largemouth are being caught on, a lot of big spotted bass as well. And we've known now for the last year or two years, while this trend is starting to pick up steam, that it catches not only numbers of smallmouth, but catches big ones too. If you're catching, you know, a bunch of two to three pounders, a lot of times this is the bait that gets you that four pound class bite that you've been looking for. So before we get into the specific technique, I do want to remind you though that I do have a members only page and if you're looking for additional content from me and a good way to support the channel, check out my members only page. Also, if you want to support the channel in another way and are looking to purchase some tackle, please use my tackle warehouse affiliate link to make your purchases. Every little bit I get from that comes right back into producing content for you guys to hopefully help us all catch fish with tips like this. So this is going to go back uh, probably about a year and a half ago, I was fishing with a buddy who's a phenomenal smallmouth angler, spends a ton of time on the Great Lakes, everywhere from Sturgeon Bay all the way to Thousand Islands, all the Great Lakes in between. That's what they specialize in. And one thing that he has noticed is that he's been getting a lot of better quality fish on jigs. Now, when we were out fishing, we were fishing a northern Wisconsin lake that sets up a very similar to a Great Lake. And we weren't catching much. We were catching uh, some two to three pound class fish, which is about average for that lake on drop shots and Ned rigs, but it was not a great lake or not a great day. Uh, until that is, he pulled this jig out and he pulled the jig out and he started going to town on numbers, but also quality. Like the fish were all three pounds or better class fish. Uh, and it was just really an eye opening experience for me because I've you know, I've never really seen a jig play as a huge factor in terms of generating numbers and quality for smallmouth. Now for largemouth and jigs in general, I do feel like your quality is better, but I've, I can't say I've ever seen it like truly outfish a finesse tactic just in terms of number of bites. But that day really turned into a very, very good day fishing the jig. And by the end of the day, we both were throwing it. But there's a couple of specific things that I want to point out here about that technique for smallmouth. And then I want to show you how to relate it over to largemouth. So the specific bait was this little football head jig right here. This is the Kitek. Uh, this is the version two football head jig. This is a tungsten jig. It's a half ounce size. So the key here though, I think is, and something that's a little bit different is he was pairing it up with a uh, Z-Man Finesse TRD, just the green pumpkin one. And you get a very compact little jig that when it hits the bottom, the bait tends to stand up because the TRD floats. And it's just a very, uh, how do I say it? It's, it's not a finesse approach, but it's almost more of a power fishing style of fishing a Ned rig. And in this case, this little guy was generating a lot of strikes. Now, we were fishing rock transition areas, which is something, as you guys know, I like to throw tungsten heads when I'm fishing around rock because the head produces a different sound. But it's still a very, very compact football head jig that has been working wonders the last year, two years maybe, uh, for the smallmouth guys in the smallmouth areas. It's something that is still kept very much on the down low, but I assure you, the best smallmouth guys out there are fully aware of how good this is. I've used it all over the place for smallmouth and I generate good quality bites pretty much everywhere I go. And it gives the fish a different look than what they're seeing pretty much on a consistent basis now of just a straight Ned rig or drop shots. So that's not necessarily the tip here. The tip, obviously, if you're not throwing this for smallmouth, you definitely want to get yourself some of these little half ounce tungsten football head jigs, put a little TRD on the back, and you've got some pretty good candy here, here for a smallmouth. What we have, haven't have seen up until recently, the last handful of months, I'm starting to hear guys about uh, transitioning this from the smallmouth world over into the largemouth world. They're doing it just on a heavier, larger scale. 
So in this case, this is a three quarter ounce football jig, full size football jig, and it's paired up here. This is a Berkeley five inch general on the back. And it's this simple process that is generating big largemouth bites as well. So you're gonna fish it in the same manner that you normally would fish a traditional football jig. So if you're a ledge guy or you're fishing deep points, maybe you've got some rock piles, whatever it is that you're fishing, I think you just want to recognize that this gives the bait a completely different appearance. The fish have not seen this yet where you've got a traditional uh, stick bait as your trailer. And I've know I talked about on the channel before how a lot of guys down in Florida are starting to punch with a punch skirt and a saw and a five inch stick bait, even bigger than that sometimes on the back. And they're having a lot of really good luck. And they're saying that that mimics bluegills that are in and around a lot of the hay grass and they're spawning. And it's just something that's really caught on fire down there. In this case, we're taking that same technique only moving it into deeper offshore structure where you're gonna throw a big football head jig, which is the exact same thing we're doing on a smaller scale for, for smallmouth. So it's something that you definitely wanna try. I know there's guys out there that are doing this, but it's not your traditional trailer. Most guys are gonna be throwing some sort of cross style bait or something with flappers. But I'm telling you what, there's something about having a stick worm sticking up off the back of your football head jig that's generating lots of strikes and lots of quality strikes. So if you haven't started doing this yet, I highly uh, recommend giving it a try. I know there's a lot of top level ledge fishermen that are waiting for the ledge bite to start up in uh, about a month, month and a half, because this is something that they started to get on at the end of last year and are expecting it to continue into this upcoming season without having other guys using it, which means there's gonna be a lot more pressure. So the goal here, guys, is for you to get out, grab yourself some football head jigs, which I know most of us have, and get out and throw them for largemouth and smallmouth. It looks untraditional, but it really is working very, very well all over the country for all species of bass. So hopefully you can get out, catch a few big bass with it, let me know if you're if you're doing this already and having success or not having success, let me know in the comment section so that viewers who think I'm being crazy with this uh, know that there are a lot of guys that are using this to success. Uh, otherwise, guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe. If you enjoyed this one, hit the like button. Stay tuned. We'll have a new video coming out tomorrow.